Hey everyone, Olaf here, and today I'm going to make yeah, a tutorial about math functions in Blender and how we can make objects through math, math functions. So let's get started. Now click X to delete the default cube, and then go into File. So go up to File, and then go into User Preferences, and just search Extra. So Extra, and then you can see Add Mesh Extra Objects. Okay. Click Save User Settings, and then click click X, and then we're going to click Shift A to go into Add Objects, and go down to Math Functions, and we're going to add a XYZ Math Surface, and now we have a math generated object, and you can start messing around with it and adding new functions and switch between the already made functions in Blender. So we actually have, have a lot of cool uh, new objects that you can use from now using the math functions that are already written in. My only problem for this at all is that I don't really know how to use these 3D functions to make actual objects other than these ones. So the point is is that you can put in different functions values into the x equation, y equation, and z equation, and then make objects according to those functions. And you can obviously play around with the objects that are already saved in the operator. So let's just try to put in a function and see how it looks. This is obviously just going to be a random function that I try to write in. So it's not really going to be a very beautiful shape, but let's just try. And those two stars together means squared. And if you actually want to find some cool functions, I think you should go on the internet and then just search uh, 3D functions and find a function you want to have for your renders. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope you liked it.